So this video is going to show you how to add a subscribe button to the end of a YouTube video. All right. And what I mean is this, this video right here, uh, I'll back it up a little bit and we could take a look at this. And then we have our button right here. If I click on it, it's going to open up a new window and I can subscribe to this YouTube channel. All right. So let me show you how I did this. I'm going to just close this window. We'll go back to the video. Now, if we look at this, there are really two components to this, what I might call an illusion, actually. Okay. First is there's an image, literally an image, and there's a link. Okay. So the two parts to this is that the video itself has an image that displays at the very end of it. And then the second part to this is that an annotation is added to the video after. All right, let's talk about that first part, the image. If I go into my screencasting software, I actually use ScreenFlow, uh, at the very end of this video, this is the same exact video, I'm going to click play. There's our image, and then the image eventually fades. Okay, and that's it pretty straightforward. You know, how you create this is going to vary depending upon what kind of screencasting or what kind of video software you have. If you use iMovie, ScreenFlow, Camtasia, and a bunch of others, they all give you the ability to add images and text and so forth at the end or in the middle or at the beginning of a video. All right. Then we take this video, we export it, we upload it into YouTube. All right. So let's go back to YouTube. And if I go up to the top of my account, click on Video Manager. Right. I go to my videos and I have this video right here at the top. If I click on the drop down arrow next to edit, I have an option called annotations. Click on annotations. I go to the video. You can pin or I'm just going to pause it and I can either add an annotation or edit an existing annotation. Right. I'm going to click on add an annotation just to show you what options are available. You can add a speech bubble, a note, a title, a spotlight, a label or a pause. Okay. Um, and what this does is basically you add an item. Uh, so in our case, we've added a note. Okay. And I've added a note to appear precisely at the point at which this image appears in the video. All right. So that, that starting point is actually 49.1 at that point in the video right here. Okay. And then it, the video ends, obviously goes all the way to the end and that's it. All right. Now for a note, I can put text in the note, but I don't need text because I already have a button here that has text within it in the video. Okay. So I'm going to leave that blank. And then what I've done is I've actually just resized the note to fit exactly over this button and obviously appear at the same time that the image actually appears as well. Okay. Um, and then for link, you can link to a video, you can link to a playlist, you can link to a channel, you can link to a fundraising project. If I click subscribe, it's going to ask me for the username that you want people to subscribe to. So obviously I'm just going to add the username for this channel and I click on save and then publish and then it's good to go. Okay. So that's how I've added a button at the end of a video where people can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. And that is it.